Today, more than ever before, efforts are being made to make public buildings accessible to disabled people. Public buildings such as schools, government facilities, places of worship, corporate offices, and retail businesses are now being designed to provide access or are being upgraded to accommodate disabled people. Ironically, while there is much focus on providing access into public buildings, the issue of emergency evacuation of disabled people during a fire or other emergency, when lifts and elevators are not operable, has received little attention. Fortunately, a solution is available. The Garaventa EvacuTrack CD7 is designed to quickly and safely transport physically disabled or injured people downstairs and out of a building to safety during a fire or other building emergency. Installed in hundreds of facilities around the globe, the Garaventa EvacuTrack is the best engineered and easiest to use evacuation chair on the market today. The EvacuTrack CD7 which is easily identified by its distinctive lime green color, is the newest generation of EvacuTrack. It reflects over 15 years of design input from disabled people, operators, and evacuation safety experts. This video is provided as an introduction to the design and operation of the Garaventa EvacuTrack CD7 and as a key part of the operator training program. Let's begin with an overview of how EvacuTrack works by going through an actual emergency evacuation drill. EvacuTrack is normally kept in a storage cabinet near the upper stair landing, ready for use. It's quick and easy to set up. EvacuTrack is very stable on a flat surface. The tracks on the front end of the machine rest on the ground, serving as a parking brake. The stability of a vacu track allows for easy loading, which means a single attendant can perform the evacuation. You'll notice there are no sides or arms on the vacu track. This allows a passenger to board from either side with equal ease. Velcro straps are provided for securing the passenger. One strap holds the legs in position, and the other two straps wrap around the torso. The lower torso strap can be used on its own if transporting a small passenger, such as a child. The low center of gravity provides maximum stability on the stairs. On flat surfaces, a vacu track can be pushed on its wheels as easily as a stroller. On stairs, steel-belted rubber tracks securely grip the stair noses and control the descent regardless of the stair covering. While the passenger's weight propels the vacu track down the stairs, a hydraulic governor limits the maximum speed of descent, allowing even a small attendant to safely evacuate heavier passengers. An additional fail-safe brake must be released before the EvacuTrack can descend the stairs. This brake allows the operator to further control the descent speed or stop the EvacuTrack on the stairway if required. When clear of the emergency area, EvacuTrack's front wheels are retracted, lowering a vacu track onto its rubber tracks so it can't roll. Whenever the operator releases the handle, this parking brake system is automatically engaged. The passenger can wait safely and comfortably until the emergency is over. The next section of the video will take you through the correct operation of the EvacuTrack CD7 step by step. In addition to this videotape, you will need an EvacuTrack CD7, an assistant, and of course, your owner's manual. Please follow the instructions in this video program. If you are unclear about any part of the program, rewind the tape at that point and review the segment again. Although the EvacuTrack will be used infrequently, operators must be properly trained to ensure the safety and comfort of passengers. We recommend that at least two people be trained as operators, so a backup will be available if required. During these training sessions, the two operators should exchange roles as operator and passenger. This will give each a chance to learn how a disabled passenger might feel during an evacuation. Once both operators are proficient, they should practice again with the disabled passenger who will be transported with the EvacuTrack during an emergency. Now is a good time to pause the videotape and ensure that you have the necessary items for hands-on training. You will need an EvacuTrack CD7, a backup operator who will be your assistant, and an owner's manual. If these are all ready in hand, let the tape play through and we'll resume in a few seconds. 
You should now have an Evacutrack CD7 close at hand for operational practice, as well as an assistant and a copy of the Evacutrack owner's manual. Your owner's manual contains important safety precautions. The terminology employed by Garaventa in a labeled diagram of Evacutrack, complete operating instructions, storage recommendations, service information, and warranty details. Please take the time to read the owner's manual before operating Evacutrack. Before we begin with the actual operation of the Evacutrack, you need to be aware of a few very important safety issues. Do not use Evacutrack on curved or spiral stairways or on stairs that are loose or have irregular spacing. Use extra caution on wet or slippery stairs. Do not use the Evacutrack with a passenger weighing more than 137 kilograms or 300 pounds. Do not load a passenger into Evacutrack unless the seat frame is fully opened and the seat latch is locked. Check the indicator window. If it is blue, the latch is locked. Before we demonstrate the operating procedure in detail, let's make sure you are totally familiar with Evacutrack's main components. Section 2 contains a diagram of Evacutrack CD7 and the terminology we will use in this operator training program. Pause the tape now and take a moment to read the owner's manual. Please note the safety information page and locate and identify each labeled component on your Evacutrack. Resume play when you're ready to continue. Now it's time for some hands-on training. As you've seen, Evacutrack folds up for efficient storage. After removing Evacutrack from the cabinet, grasp and pull the handle out and up. You'll hear a distinct click as the locking mechanism engages. Check the indicator window to confirm that the seat latch is locked. The indicator window should be completely blue. Now transfer the passenger. Evacutrack is designed to accommodate a variety of situations, and passengers may have a wide range of disabilities. People in wheelchairs may or may not have the use of their arms. Others may have physical needs requiring special attention. Operators and their passenger should work together to develop the best procedure for getting into and out of Evacutrack. In some cases, such as transfer of quadriplegic passengers, an extra attendant may be required. You may find it beneficial to consult an occupational therapist to determine the best method of transfer. Wrap the safety strap securely around the passenger's body. In an actual emergency, you would wrap the passenger's arms inside the safety straps if the passenger was injured or had no control of their arms. In the case of a small passenger, such as a child, use only the lower torso strap. To roll Evacutrack on a flat surface, Press down on the handle to take weight off the front of the unit and squeeze the brake release bar with both hands. Squeezing the bar lowers the front wheels into their operating position, making Evacutrack easier to push. Do not attempt to lower the front wheels without first pushing down on the handle. This may stretch the brake cable. To turn Evacutrack on flat surfaces, push down on the handle and pivot Evacutrack on the rear wheels. Push Evacutrack towards the stairs. Approach the top step at a right angle. We recommend you position Evacutrack on the inside of the stairway to allow room for other traffic on the stairway and to make it easier to turn corners at stairway landings. Push Evacutrack forward until the front wheels roll off the top step. At this point, Evacutrack will stop automatically when the tracks make contact with the stair nose. Release your grip on the brake release bar. This will engage the parking brake and ensure Evacutrack does not begin to descend the stairway until you are ready. Lift the handle to tilt Evacutrack forward until it's at the same angle as the stairway. The Evacutrack parking brake is still engaged. To descend the stairs, release the brake by slowly squeezing the brake release bar. A governor limits the maximum descent speed to about 3 feet per second. Reducing pressure on the brake release lever so it is partially engaged will further slow the descent speed. When approaching the stairway landing, press the handle down to move Evacutrack onto the flat surface. Pivot on the rear wheels to turn the corner 
and align a vacuum track with the next flight of stairs. Lift the handle and squeeze the brake release bar as before. To stop a vacuum track on the stairway, slowly release the brake release bar. This may be necessary to allow other stairway traffic to pass or to clear an obstruction. When you reach the bottom of the stairway, press the handle down to move the evacu track onto the flat surface. Then push evacu track away from the stairway and clear of any possible danger. During an actual emergency, the passenger can remain in the comfort and safety of evacu track until a wheelchair or other transportation can be arranged. Repeat this practice drill until both operator and passenger feel totally familiar with the procedure. Then trade places to allow the assistant to become a proficient operator as well. Once you're both proficient at operating a vacu track, practice again with the disabled passenger who will be using the vacu track during an actual emergency. When the practice session is completed, unlock the seat latch by pushing down on the red bar under the seat. Fold a vacu track closed and replace it at the top of the stairway, ready for emergency use. Aside from practice drills, evacue tracks should be used only in real emergency situations. Therefore, maintenance requirements are minimal. Descent speed has been preset at the factory for an average weight adult passenger. Evacue track will descend slower with a lighter passenger and faster with a heavier passenger. Descent speed may be increased or decreased if desired by adjusting the track tension. Adjusting bolts are located at the rear of the machine. Details are in the service section of the owner's manual. Any service or maintenance issue should be referred to your authorized Garaventa dealer or direct to Garaventa. Ask your dealer about a preventative maintenance agreement for your evacu track. It will ensure reliable and timely cleaning and servicing and keep your evacu track in top working condition. Evacu track has been adjusted and lubricated at the factory but should be inspected about once a year to ensure it functions perfectly. For reference, write the name of your authorized Garaventa dealer and the serial number of your evacu track in the space on page one of your owner's manual. Please remember that proper training of evacu track operators is extremely important. Make sure all your evacu track operating personnel study this videotape, read the owner's manual, and are completely qualified. Please review any section of this videotape if you are unsure of any aspect of EvacuTrack's safe operation. One final note, sometimes emergency evacuation could involve moving someone upstairs, say from a basement up to an exit level or up to a fire safe area. If you have such a need, ask your Garaventa dealer about the Garaventa StairTrack motorized stair climber that can go up and down stairs carrying a passenger in a wheelchair. If you have questions that you feel are not addressed in this video presentation, please direct them to your Garaventa dealer or call the Garaventa Customer Service Department at 1-800-663-6556.